Hello Diamonds and welcome to Echo Bee Season 7. So just before we start, I would need to go and grab quickly the location for our place, as I don't want to lose it. I did have a chance during the uh, trailer recording to look around a bit and I found a really good place for us to stay at. So I decided in this neighborhood it would be quite good. It has a lot of sand and also sandstone, so good for like mining and masonry. So we can get started, and it's nicely close to the government as well. So first of all, of course, I need to get the land nicely next to the road area, because well, we don't want anyone to sneak through. And yeah, with this recording, uh, my microphone did malfunction during the initial recording, so I have to do voiceover. So if what I say does not match really what's going on on the screen, that's the reason. So I just quickly grab the extra land claims, so I can see, uh, like, make all the land available for me. So I, I decided I will go is this layout first and later expand when I can. So yeah, new place. We need to take of course our initial uh, skills. So for the mining we do need to take the lucky break because without it there's no real point. And also I remember that yes I need to put the star into it. It did give me immediately five extra land claim papers, which I will use later on to expand, not right away, because there's no point. So I have pretty much everything ready, but I do not have the tools to do much. So we need to go to the government building to use some of our coins. This, the tools that we have there is just not enough. So once we do that, let's set up the, uh, the order itself for a work table. And then once we come back, then I will go on and cut down the tree. So this, this season, there are quite few new things, which I will talk about a bit later. Ah. Nicely people are on top of each other. So yeah, when I logged into this world first time, uh, I ended up being on top of someone as well. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, so when they moved, whilst I was still adjusting my character, it moved me as well. But yeah, anyway, we do have a lot of options what to select from. So there is the starter pack, which... I might not take because, well, it's just a lot of coins to use on that. What I do need is definitely a big axe. It's priority over everything. I will need some other things like hammer. And probably shovel as well. So those are the main tools that will be used for all the production. And it also leaves me a little bit cash uh, for one of the storages. This, yeah, the regular storage that we have is well, not as good as the reward one. And all the loaders and stuff, we can take it later once uh, we have someone with the uh, support skill all the way up to level 3. So yeah, so um, I'm currently just looking around and thinking real hard about the fuel loader bundle. And yeah, also what is one of the mods is that uh, uh, all our reward uh, tools, they have really high durability, giving us a good challenge to break them. So of course by the time they break them, it's is probably that we have also the uh, uh, steel redstones, so we can easily fix them. But yeah, so 
I think I will leave things as it is because we don't need too many items in one go. So I might use the five credits later on for one more storage once we get a little bit more advanced. Yeah, I'm just checking the uh, Ecopy support level to know when those will be available for, for us. But yeah, so now we need to quickly head back and get started with all the building stuff there. So with the building, I did a little bit mortar stone immediately and started constructing the frame. So I was thinking about using the 45 degree angle walls as they make it look better. And yeah, so it's direct access to the government building. So hopefully once the road is here, we can easily go around and people can come and buy from us. So on the map, we have our neighbor as well, Sov. He is also planning to take uh, basic engineering. So based on that, I decide, decided to kind of postpone it a little bit until we have the ingredients. So I will take masonry first once it comes out. It will be quite a while before. Yeah, I do not have any mortar stone anymore because it requires a lot of rocks. So, going down the mine, well, we need to get more of it. I decided to go a bit sideways, so this way we can put later on some stockpiles and make all this production much easier. So yeah, as as we're processing everything, we need like 800 more rocks, which is a lot. All this process will take a very long time. Yeah, the mining is a little bit boring, and yeah, pretty much every season starts with a lot of grinds. Yeah. I'm not even sure how I will set up all items and it probably better way to get in and out of this mine as well as this type of move is not the easiest so yeah quickly just getting few stacks i have cut down nicely all the trees near here and using all the stuff that i took to make all the mortar. I also went uh, around and cut a lot of grass also for mortar. So yeah, we need better ways. We need the masonry to make the mortar more easily. So yeah, let's see what we can do. But first we need way more rocks. So it's quite big task. <laughs> so by that time I'm already missing like all the ski stairs and and even the uh, sweeping hands. Because it would make life a lot easier to just sweep everything. But yeah, I do have a lot of sand standing here as well. It's on the way and kind of prevents easy move so I will probably need to go much further on the mining side and and see where everything goes so yeah I will quickly cut to the further point and we can see what else we can quickly do. So after doing a little mining, I'm thinking about continuing the building. So small mistakes, but I decided to 
put everything up and see how the wall would look like. And yeah, with this way, the corners, they seem to look quite nice. Yeah, even with the windows, it, it matches up quite nicely. I do need to dig out the area to place everything. So that's pretty much the next task. Yeah, all this sand will be very useful for future uh, works when I take the masonry and start making mortar. Of course, I do find a little bit crushed limestone, which would be very beneficial once we uh, once we get like advanced um, uh, smelting. But at the beginning, it will be easily used for like basic engineering. So. We'll need to see if we can sell it to the solve next door. So I will quickly take up all the sand that we have. Because we need it. So yeah, it's a lot of running around when preparing. And yeah, at least this time with the reward tools, we don't need to worry about it's breaking every few minutes and yeah pretty neat all the wolves in the neighborhood are very active you do get a lot of meat that we can easily cook for ourselves there will be chefs later on but at the beginning it's like everyone is preparing and there's not much chance to buy the food yet so the best way to make is well ourselves but yeah so I'll quickly prepare I will fill in the other parts with the dirt we need seven more blocks so I will quickly dig them so yeah the sand I might dig out later on it's not priority but yeah quick way to put that down is to use the hammer and interesting that uh, this is the easiest way. And yeah, I decided to put all the like the wall side of the floor down before continuing the long-term mining because well, this again absolutely no mortar stone available. It just goes too quickly. It's a little bit sad. So yeah, again back in the mind we have to go. So first quick foods. And yeah, with the beets, the interesting thing is that the character really hates the raw beets. But after cooking them, yeah, he seems to like them a lot. So it's good. At least we can make something. So yeah, I just need to mine a bit more so after quite a bit of mining I decided to finish the building uh, so and a few others we were discussing like the uh, good uh, level for the for the roads and therefore I have put my building up on the stills it might be necessary for me to build a work workshop underneath later on but it will happen when the time comes so not really too important so I have picked up the masonry table which is nicely placed inside as well as we have enough space we do have our shop uh, set up exactly as it should be so whenever the road gets done then it's easy access yeah, we will need to go and grab ourselves the masonry skill scroll. So this way we can actually utilize the table and make ourselves all the motor. So, so let's see how much it costs. It should be too expensive. It's also the first skill that comes out from the university. So let's see, 225. It's super cheap, and we do have few people's uh, people who have specialized in that already. 
So if I remember, it's only three. Yeah, it is three. So the will also do the same. So, so yeah, it's kind of important for us now. And also for this playthrough, I decided to change the house sensitivity a little because it was a bit too rapid when I was doing the recording for all this. I also have a few other ideas because I did more recording than what I used for the trailer. So the idea is that uh, I will uh, also later on show the clip with the before everyone came in and after. And yeah, I do need some upgrades, so we need to see when those become available. There's no basic upgrade table yet, but it seems that we do have Asrits who has picked up the upgrade skill. So it will require just all the resources and the table, and they can hopefully start making them, therefore making all the recipes cheaper for us. So at the moment we just need to well, order up quite a bit of water. So 200 for the beginning should be quite good. Later on we need to do way more. So yeah, I don't really want to eat the beets as they are. Need to cook them first. And yeah. So to make the beets then I just put them in the stockpile and get them ready. I should do the same with the animals in a sec. So first the beats, 21 to go. And yeah, so next thing is track the animals in as well. They are both considered as mediums. So you can set that order up as well. So of course meat is better than no food. And yeah, I, I will try to balance my food as much as possible, knowing quite well that it might be not really working. But yeah, like we have the house ready. We have things going on. So it's kind of a good place to really stop the video. There is still a lot of work to do, and we need to extend the house quite a bit to have proper workshop. But for beginning, it's good. So yeah, I will see you in the next episode.